Random collection of tools, we're going to have a crack at taking that out. And the previous owner's rubbish. It was a Kenwood unit. There's a third nut down the back. A few fuses, some wiring, a bit of steering action. I've got a couple more screws here, one and two down a bit further. like it tucks into the bottom portion which means pulling more stuff apart feels like it sits in a channel in this one Carefully prise the console trim bezel out of the retainers. Doesn't look like there's any screws. Disconnect any electrical connectors. Remove the screws from the radio trim bezel and remove the bezel. Those bits. Fuck yeah, look at that thing. That's the original setup. That is sick. It says to be careful. <coughs> okay. Ah, and then it comes out easy. Of course.
So, there are now three more screws to do, and this should come off. Three screws. Good news, I have to pull out the entire center console. This comes out, this whole thing. This comes out, this does not come off. Um, the console is removed so that I can remove this shroud and then pull this out. Cool. the uh, gear changer in a second. seeing what the bottom of my Pringle can sees me after this. Well, it is glued in. socket well I got some mini sockets but they're not deep enough because there's probably 10 mil of thread sticking out of the top uh, the only other thing I got lying around at the moment is some needle nose pliers which absolutely will not do the job 
so looks like I'm off to buy sockets. So I don't know what else to do right now. Besides, just trying to rip that out. Alright, so we'll be back later. So I had a bit of a go at just trying to pull this part off. It all feels pretty well fixed and I didn't want to break something. Um, so I think some sort of socket is on the cards for that. Down there. And I don't know, a few other bits and pieces duck down the shops and uh, have another go again probably this afternoon or tonight. So Three, ninety-four, ninety-five. It's just a whole bunch of marks. I'm fairly sure this was a ninety-six, though. So I don't know. There's a bit of filth built up, which is exciting. So why not? Let's just pull everything apart. Running super cats on the GDR wheels, sacrilege. Got the extendo extendo socket that should work. And just for funsies, got a cup holder. It's the VS. Don't hold cups. Yeah. That was pretty easy to get to finger tight. Totally worth the money. Wasn't on too tight, but it was uh, too tight for the needle nose to handle.
Cool. I guess now we get to pull this out. Um, yeah. Really? Assuming there'll be a connection for the power button. Okay, a bit of a splitty. There's two screws there. Where's the point? These two. I don't think they'll fix anything. I'll probably be proved wrong very shortly.
Remove the screws, did that. Cut that bit. Did that, did that, did that. Remove the screws retaining the console to the floor plate. So that's what they do. So of course, yes, we do have to undo them. Remember, you can always just wear headphones instead. Easy. Okay, I see more screws. Right. More screws is good. Exciting stuff. There goes all my shit. Hopefully it all went into somewhere inaccessible. Caught somewhere. 
it's just for just for fun. I still don't know why everything else had to come out. That was just odd. feeling something's about to break. Oop, went forward. Cool. That one's... There's the broken bit. So, let's see if we... Ah, oh, just won't go backwards. I wonder it didn't like that. I don't think I need to pull that stuff out, but whatever. Why not? We've come this far, let's pull everything out. Something under here. I think 
these things might still be holding something, maybe. And there's another screw, of course. Oh, I didn't even notice. Hidden behind the brown stuff. Hopefully all those screws fell into... I don't know. <laughs> something important. Stay together. So I reckon it goes, but these bits, these ones, I have little heads attached to them, and they are just a bit too much for me. Let's see if I can maneuver this out of the way without breaking too many wires. All stars. After all that, I still don't have clean access to the head unit. That's just magic. Absolute magic. Love it. heater and the air can do work so I don't want to break stuff in a fit of rage. Oh, 
Dann vorher. Das ist nicht fix. Right, what do we have here? We have stuff. Oh, I think that was the antenna. Oh, this plastic looks fragile. was plugged in. That was plugged in. Yeah. Wow. So now I've got, oh man. Be chasing some wire around, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, now we've got a hole. We have a hole. So I've got the uh, connectors I can solder. What's that? Hands free stuff, remote. So that'll plug in. I just got like a JVC, something basic looking. I want to be able to plug a USB and a auxiliary cable into it. And I uh, thought it was a bit weird when I was looking at the box. And then I got it out. And it's that long. So I will not be playing any CDs in it. It is. <laughs> Is Bluetooth only. Got some other connectors for the stock. So yeah, got some other connectors for the stock wiring. But if the river did this, has uh, chopped things up, it may not work. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh shit, dropped it. But, that looks promising. So that might just be the normal holding connector there. So that might be okay. Might not. trying to turn it on now rear front subwoofer okay so that's a subwoofer there no subwoofer I guess that I don't know Uh, screw it, let's turn it on. Get our money's worth out of my stendo socket. So 
I don't know. I don't know if this is the smartest idea, but uh, yeah. Let's not break anything just yet. I mean, heck. <coughs> I think we're up in park. power and I can hear noise so that's cool FM looking at the antenna hanging out the top I don't think we're gonna get much FM going out of there alright um SW what ah oh, here we go Yeah, I think I bought something from my... Shut up! I had a cable from my external mic here somewhere. Thank you, Rode microphones. wasn't expecting that, that just works fine. That was like the easiest part of this whole thing. I just plugged it in and it's fine. Um. <laughs> Stupid thing. Uh, I got like a low profile sub, so I might try and plug that in as well. And might try and wire in the uh, hands-free mic and stuff like that um, I think I'm about done for today I don't need to drive this for another day or two so like all good jobs I'll just let it sit until it's I've forgotten where everything goes so yeah anyway so that was pulling apart the console and connecting the uh, head unit and then uh, we'll try installing the head unit and fitting everything back together next time.